Welcome to the NGIT website and math podcast. My name is Vanessa. Today I will be covering finding the domain of algebraic expressions. Now when finding the domain, there are certain rules that we need to remember. And for the most part, we're working with division or a function over a function or a number over a function. And what we need to remember is that the denominator can never ever be zero under any circumstances. So if in this example, we have 5 divided by 3 minus x. Now to find the domain of this, we have to look. The 5 on the top is just a number, so we have no problems with that. But if we look at the denominator, we have a function 3 minus x. If we remember that the denominator can never ever be zero, so we have to find when the denominator becomes zero. So if we do this, if we set 3 minus x equal to zero, and we solve for x by taking the x and moving it to the right side of the equation, we get 3 is equal to x. What this means is that if you were to put 3 in, it would make the denominator zero, and then you wouldn't be able to divide this. So if we back check it, it works out. Because we put in 5 divided by 3 minus 3, we get 5 over 0, and this is no good. So how do we express our final answer? We have a couple of different ways. We know that x that can just not be 3. So there's two different kinds of notation. We can just simply say, do bracket, and we're talking about the variable x, vertical line, and we know that x cannot be 3, so we just simply write x with an equal sign and a line through it to say that not equal to 3. Close. That just simply says that the variable x cannot be equal to 3. Or, we can write it in interval notation which shows not what x can't be, but what x can be. All right, so if the only number that, that cannot be used is 3, that means every number below 3 and every number above 3 is a possible number to be used. And we do that by saying that the interval on the left side, of, on the left side is, because it can be any number below 3, we start with negative infinity. So we write negative infinity, and it can go up to 3, close parentheses, and the u is simply for union, which means that the next interval goes, goes with, with the left interval. And we know that every number above 3 is a possible solution. So we go from 3 all the way to infinity, close parentheses. So when writing a domain, you have two options. You can write what x cannot be. In this case, it can't be 3. Or you can write what x can be. In this case, it can be every, any number below 3, which is from negative infinity to 3, and any number above 3, which is from 3 to infinity. Let's do one more example to make sure we have this down. Say we had 2 minus x divided by x plus 2. <laughs> okay. On the top, we just simply have a function 2 minus x. Now, you can definitely have 0 in the numerator. So, there are no restrictions on the numerator, which means that we don't even really have to look at it. Our only concern here is that the denominator cannot be zero, so we have to look at the function on, in the denominator. Now, as the prefix example said, is that the whole denominator cannot be zero, therefore, if we set the function in the denominator to zero, as we do here, x plus two is equal to zero, we can find out what number we can't use. So if we take the two and move it to the, to the right side, we get simply get x equals negative two, which means that if we were to put negative 2 into this equation, we would get a 0 on the denominator. 
let's plug it in just to check. So we get 2 minus a negative 2 over negative 2 plus 2, we get minus times a minus is a positive, so we get 2 plus 2, which is equal to 4. And on the bottom we get negative 2 plus 2, which is 0. We can't have a 0 in the denominator, so this is no good. So therefore the only number we cannot use in this expression is negative 2. So let's write the notation out. First let's write it as what the solution cannot be. We do it by simply saying bracket, our variable is x, vertical line, and we say that x cannot equal negative 2, close, pra close bracket. Now let's write it as what x can be, or what possible solutions we can have for x. Now according to this, because the only, only number we can't use is negative 2, that means that every number below negative 2 and every number above negative 2 is a possible solution. So let's write that out. For the left side, every number below 2 is possible, so we can go all the way to negative infinity. And we can go up to, up to and not including negative 2. We write a u here for union which means, and then on the right on the right side, every number above negative 2 is also a possible solution. Therefore, we start with negative 2, and it can go all the way to, to positive infinity. Close parentheses. And that's the way of writing the domain in terms of what we can use as x. Thank you for visiting the NGIT website. If you need any further assistance, Please stop by the Center for Academic and Professional Enrichment, Kupfrian Hall, Room 200. Thank you, and good luck with your studies.